Are you ready? I started gardening maybe six, seven years ago. I was um, a full-time registered nurse at that point, and it was just kind of a hobby thing, and really fell in love with it. Cut that stem above that set of leaves. Decided that I wanted to do it as more of a, a job, career. Um, and so that's what I started doing. I started growing food and selling it to people and restaurants, farmers markets, wherever I could get it in. We also started bringing people out to our place and started doing like farm to table dinners and workshops and events and things. And uh, that was before we had this building. And so when that started working and coming to fruition, I decided that we needed an actual building to do the workshops and events and, and a, like a small store where I could just sell my produce. It just all evolved from there really quickly. Um, people told me that we needed to bring other things in. The milk, that's where the milk came into play. They wanted to see more local milk dairy options, so we brought the milk in, and then people started coming to me asking if we could sell their you know, locally crafted and made items, and so that's kind of where we're at. We have local meats in the store. My husband makes all of the sourdough bread. That's his thing. He really wanted to get, this is all my thing, but he really wanted to get involved, and he loves to bake. He's a fireman. He's like the cook at the station, and so he really got into sourdough, so he makes tons of sourdough every week. He sells out every week. Then we also do on-farm events and workshops. We do a kids' summer camp in the summer. Uh, we started that last summer where kids come out. It's all outdoors. We just immerse the kids in nature. We teach them all sorts of outdoor things. We teach them how to fish. They do all sorts of scavenger hunts and games and things. With the farm-to-table dinners, of course, uh, we try to bring as much stuff in that I'm growing at the, at the time, but I can't grow. I can't grow and produce it all. So then we source the meats locally. Uh, we have several farms that we work really closely with and then other produce from other local farms. We bring it in, we work with private chefs. Um, we kind of build a menu based off of what is seasonal, what's growing at the time. And then we uh, get the word out there and, and it's a ticketed event. People come, it's limited seating. It's kind of like an intimate private sort of thing. It's a lot of fun. Well, what's your radish under? This all really started with me loving to grow vegetables, um, so I'm always trying to grow that out back. We grow in high tunnels. We actually just got a grant to uh, build another high tunnel, so that will expand tremendously. And in the next two weeks or so, we're putting in all the tomatoes, eggplants, cucumbers, squashes, all those sorts of things. If you planted those, continue to grow the market, continue to build um, inventory, so people can, you know, have a reason to come out here.